My friends, I did a thing, and I'm gonna gloat about it for a few seconds. It only took me 14 days to find a new title for this event, and I'd like to share it with you. Allow me to present to you the new name for this series, Asia Wiki Bossful Tad Iftix. It's the perfect name, it sums it up completely. It's exactly what I've been saying this whole time. All the episodes of Wiki Bossful Tad that I have prepared for you this Christmas season all summed up in one great big word. But enough about over-engineered acronyms, we're here to play some games, and I've got a beauty picked out today, and I found out while answering the question. What can you buy on Steam for less than a dollar? Today's game comes in at $2.99, a nice cheap one. And as I said before, this is one that I've really been looking forward to. Today we're gonna to be playing Gwen the Hen 64. Now, the thing that really caught my attention was the 64 in the title. Some of you probably, well, all of you don't know because I've never said this before. I am a big Nintendo 64 fan. I absolutely love the way Nintendo 64 games look. It might just be nostalgia because that's what I grew up playing, but you know what? It's fine because they do look really good, in my opinion. And a lot of people try to make modern games that look like they could have been on a Nintendo 64. And I feel like this is one of them. And I feel like it's going to be best played with a controller, but I don't honestly know if a controller is supported at this particular moment. Huh. Hold on just a second. Let me plug this thing back in. I just unplugged my controller. Please, please let me play. Please. Ah, I just can't get the controller to work. I don't know why. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Jump, attack, or talk. <laughs> uh, crouch. Oh, that looks so cute. And move, camera, which is not active right now. Okay, hold on. Uh, is there a, is there a, a settings menu where I can, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Erase data, quit to desktop, controls. Does that, nope. Okay, so I cannot control the volume. It's just the music is a little overpowering, but it's fine. Let's go out this door, I suppose, into a great big adventure. Oh, I'm so nervous. I can't move all crouched. Oh, I can crouch jump. Oh, guys, I can flutter jump too. This looks like it could be super fun. Whoa. Okay, oh hi. This is incredible looking. Guys, I'm so excited to play this. Oh my goodness. Okay, barrel. What if I break it? Did I just like climb on it? Oh, wait, can I wall climb? Apparently that's a yes. Dude, that's such a cool animation. I love this. Hello, let's talk to this guy. Gwen's assistant. Oh! You must be the new assistant, right? Wait. Are you an assistant too? Am I Gwen? Welcome to the Laboratory Island, the most innovative and technological island in the entire world. Judging by that name, I'd say that's probably true. The place is full of scientists and researchers working on their projects, so, so, so go around and talk to all the people and say... But before that, you should probably go and talk to Professor Gwen. She needs help with her latest project. She's at her lab right now, just follow this path and you should see it. Okay, so I'm not Gwen. I guess I'm just a random hen, who knows. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. A little bit of 3D platforming and exploration thrown in there. Oh, this is a delight. Are you Gwen? Hey, whoa, okay, camera change. Who are you? Ah, it's Gwen the Hen. Are you the new assistant? I am Professor Gwen, the world's most renowned scientist, but I'm having a few problems with my latest invention. It's this machine over here. It can produce infinite chocolate for free without generating any kind of waste. Oh, that sounds like the best thing ever, but I'm missing some cocoa diamonds. They serve as power supply to my invention. Makes sense. With nine, I can make the machine work, but it will only produce milk chocolate. With 10, I can make it also produce white chocolate. <gasps> oh, I've already identified the diamonds locations and I've built warp gates all over the island that can teleport you right to where they are, but they may teleport you to dangerous locations and I'm too old to go myself. I was hoping I could ask you to go in my place. Sure. Will you go for me? You will? Apparently I have no say in the matter. That is great, thank you very much. But since I said I could be dangerous, I recommend you go around town and explore a bit first to get familiar with the controls. Why don't you try collecting at least two of those green coins? They're scattered everywhere. It should be too hard. It shouldn't be too hard, but it should give you enough practice. Once you are done with that, you could start with those warp gates over there. Look at this cinematic. Oh, this is so pleasant. 
I had good reason to be excited for this game. All right, I'm off on an adventure, Gwen. Don't worry about me. Oh, that was loud. Yikes, okay, breaking boxes is very violent. I wonder if there's gonna be some crazy mechanics later on, like new uh, jumps I can do. I hope so. Cause like I can flutter jump. Oh, I can spin jump too. Oh man, there's gonna be some really cool movement. I love that in games. I wonder if this is something I can do. It is, it is. Look at me go guys, can I get inside? Oh, why hello. Looks like I've discovered a secret. One of them green co- Hello. Ah! Oh, it's a teleporter. Okay. Hello, dude. I sell green coins for 60 gold each. I currently have five in stock. Unfortunately, I don't have hands to perform the trade with you. So if you are interested, please step on the red button over there. Okay. I guess wings don't qualify as hands. Let's go see what's up here. Seems like I can get a lot of speed from jumping. Yeah, I gain a lot of speed when in the air. There's some speed run tech going on there. A little crouch jump if you don't- whoopsie! Uh, perfect. Eh. Nice. Is this a little button I can press? Or is that like an air duct? I don't know. Can I wall jump? Oh, I can definitely wall jump. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is the warp gate. I got two, go uh, two green coins. Don't really know what those are for. Oh, we got a graveyard over here? What's going on? This is such a happy atmosphere. Why do we have to spoil it with this? Is there gonna be anything spooky going on around here? Let me in. I'm thin enough to squeeze through these windows, I'm sure. Okay, apparently not. What's going on here? Tell me what's going on here. Oh, you've got books all over the place, dude. What's going on? Morally dubious researcher. I do research in chicken biology. Oh, okay, well, I don't really trust this. Di is this a, a human skeleton? Why are, why, why are chickens digging up human skeletons? So this is a human cemetery? Wait, is this like some post-apocalyptic world where chickens have taken over or something? I don't know about this. I don't trust that guy over there. I'm gonna steer clear. What's up top here? I'll bet there's secrets. All right, with a crouch jump, I can definitely get up this tower. Hi. There we go. Easy. Green coins. Um, well, I guess I should probably check out one of these levels now. Looks like only one portal is active. So, I guess that's the one I'm gonna do. Through the portal I go. I didn't read what it said, but who cares? Whoa, change of music all of a sudden. I like it though. You can hold the jump button while in midair to fly. I know this, but thank you very much, helpful head. We're just gonna flap my wings over here and I can just wall climb up this. Nobody telling me that I can do that. I'm gonna collect the coins from the boxes though. That is still so very loud. My goodness, I wish there was some controls I could do for the sounds. Just that would be really, really appreciated. Are these foxes? I'm guessing they're bad. Well, they're dead now. Checkpoint. Well, that's very handy. What's down here? I see secrets. Oh yeah, you cannot keep them from me. I am a seasoned veteran when it comes to secret hunting. Seems like the camera very easily gets stuck on objects. Ah, interesting. Oh, I knew that was coming. I've played Alt F4. You can't fool me with your silly little traps. This is amateur hour when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm guessing we're gonna need some height here. Look at me go. Oh, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that for sure, but I'm gonna do it the easy way. Oh, look at me go. I'm so good at this. I've only just begun playing and already I'm the best at this game. Also, the inability to turn the camera up and down is a little sad. I'd like to be able to have full control, but that's okay. So far, this is pretty easy, but it's the first level, so I'm not exactly expecting much. There is one more green coin that I'd really like to get, and I could 100% this. Oh, come on. Wall climbing is a little tricky. You gotta wait till you grab before you jump. There we go. Another checkpoint. I don't want to miss any secrets, but I feel like I'm going to. What's at the top of this suspicious tower? I guess it's probably the Coco Diamond. Oh, there's the last coin. You know, I was just thinking, it doesn't make sense for getting all the coins to make white chocolate come out of that thing, because white chocolate isn't even chocolate. It doesn't have any cocoa in it. It's just fudge, I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I know it's not chocolate. It's just, just fudge. Ah, oh, there's, the, there's the Coco Diamond, I suppose. Stage clear, I did it. 
Oh, that's so cool. This does seem like it could be a Nintendo 64 game. What would be awesome is if it was modded to be on a Nintendo 64. That'd be so cool. Whoa, okay, all of a sudden we're in the big city. This music is really loud. I can barely hear any sound effects. Parkour expert? There are many techniques that you can do by climbing different actions. What? For example, I am practicing one called dive. To perform, if you have pressed the crouch button while in, to perform it, you have to press the crouch button while in midair. This music is so loud, it's making me not able to think. But the tricky part is that it won't work if you don't have enough speed. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Ow! Don't touch me! Huh. <laughs> Whoa, I can slide really far. Luckily, that guy is stuck over there. Uh, oh boy. I don't know what that I got. I don't know what that guy was. I can barely think with all this music. It's super loud, guys. But I want to hear the sound effects at least. Oh boy, I saw a green coin. I missed it. Ah oh, well, who needs it? I'm not 100%ing this game, anyways. At least not right now. What is that? Oh, bad plants. Okay, apparently they spit at me. Not very cool. Now oh, these guys are easy to beat. Wham! Do I have to dive through this? Uh, whoa! Okay, it's a launcher. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's so loud. I can barely hear anything, guys. I'm sorry. I know I'd really love to have the sound effects more prominent and the music be a background note, but it is not possible. There's just no music slider. It's nice music, though, at least. At least it's not obnoxious. It could be, but it isn't. Let's do a little diving action. Look at that. Whoa, bad idea, I suppose. Well, there's my first death. Oh, no. I was so close to being able to beat... Well, I'm on level two. I say I was so close to being this game deathless. Not exactly the truth. It said there were eight chocolate diamonds or something? That means there's only eight levels? Oh, that's kind of sad. What's in here? I want to go... Oh. Well, apparently I can't go into the mines yet. I am not worthy. Well, hello? Curious chick, my mom told me you can use the trees to get to the top of the mountain. I'd love to go there, but I'm not very good at climbing trees. Dude, you are so adorable. Oh, there's a level way out there. I wonder if I could glide there from the top of the mountain. I'm very good at climbing trees, so I will be able to make full use of these. Hiya! Look at me go. Hiya! Whee! Oh, there's just more levels up here. Hello. Chocolate loving chicken. I'm so hyped for the chocolate machine. I can't wait. Collect those night cocoa diamonds quickly, okay? Please! And once you finish, don't forget to go talk to Gwen. Sure, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. I want the viewers to be able to Oh, I could take a I could take a boat out to that island, I suppose. As I said, I was super, super excited to play this game. I had high hopes for it in the first place. But honestly, it's better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be just like just levels and stuff, but there's a overworld, there's a hub world, and exploration and stuff, secrets to find. This is really, really cool and well done. But I think that's enough of this game. As always, I try to leave a little bit for you guys to experience for yourself, because this is a really, really reasonable price for a game. If you're into the Nintendo 64 games and you like the way that they feel and uh, look, then this is definitely a game that you will enjoy, because it's also got that classic Nintendo 64, like, really good movement system, at least in like Donkey Kong 64 and Mario 64. It's got the kind of feel for that kind of movement with lots of different options you can do and skips you could do if you get really good at the uh, different mechanics. So it's honestly a really good buy in my opinion, $2.99 on Steam. Well that does it for day 14, the second to last day. Tomorrow is the final game that I have prepared for you guys, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this event as much as I have. Honestly, super fun to record these episodes. It's just, it's just a joy. It's just a joy. And we'll be playing the last one tomorrow, but until then, take care.